what's going on guys this is Barry Dnx here and I'm just here to show you guys a comparable app to the open VPN connect application GUI we're just gonna be able to open up the terminal right here that way we can actually pull that down from github so we can just CD right into desktop right now and uh, we can just get clone and uh, HTTPS uh, github.com Barry Dnx forward slash open VPN underscore connect I'm gonna leave this inside of the description if you guys actually do want to pull this down and run this and now that we're, we got that, you can see that we actually have uh, the folder that right inside of our desktop right now. And you can actually see this uh, install.sh is actually what we're going to have to run to install the actual application. So we could just CD right into there. Now to run this, uh, we're going to just do, yeah, and you do have to be root. So we're going to do sudo dot forward slash install dot sh. I haven't actually made a readme yet, but it, there will be a readme. <clears throat> so you can either hit yes, capital Y, capital N, or uh, lowercase n, sorry, or you can just hit enter, and uh, then we can enter again. It, if you don't want to install the uh, application GUI, you don't have to actually do that. Um, but now that it's actually installed here, we can just uh, show you down here that it actually did install. So it actually has this nice uh, little application, uh, just like any other GUI that you would expect or application and there is a dark mode inside of here if you would prefer that <clears throat> there is also a logs uh, so you can actually keep up to date on what is going on inside of the terminal as if you had it up and if you do want to add uh, your VPN you just need a dot OVPN file and we could just go into here and pick one of these and you can just click on one you can type in your password once you do that, you can hit OK, and now we actually have that up. And I'm just going to show you that uh, right now uh, I'm inside of Pennsylvania, so that's what we're going to see here. All right. Now you can see inside of PA, and you can actually see your IP address up there too. Okay, now that we got that running, I can refresh this page. All right, now you can see that we're inside of Tokyo. Nice. Go ahead and turn that back off. Now you can actually add uh, another one here too. You can add uh, up to eight of them. So. Okay, add that, I click OK, and now you can see. So we can turn this one on too. And you can actually switch in between them just like that. And if you do want to delete them, all you have to do is hit the trash can there. Type in your password, and they'll erase it for you. Now I'm just going to CD into OPT and OpenVPN. This is actually where it's installed. Everything is actually on your system. And I'm just going to pull up VS Code right here so you guys can actually take a look. Uh, obviously, you're not going to be able to see... Uh, uh, with as fast as I'm going here, but uh, if you do want to take a look at it, you, all you have to do is look inside of the directory that you pull down. And I'm just going to pull up my GitHub account right here, and you can actually take a look at it online too if you'd like to. It's publicly available. And this is my install.sh. Obviously, if you guys want to uh, help me build this further, or if you would like to fork it off and do whatever you want with it, that would be great. And um, if you do want to install it, uninstall it, all you have to do is hit the trash can there uh, for uninstall, and you can actually see it's going to take a second, but it does actually uninstall.
and you can see that I actually erased the uh, opt forward slash open VPN and instead it cleans it all up for you but it does not uninstall open VPN so if you do want to use that um, and all you have to do I can show you here uh, once you uh, type in sudo and type the and run the installer again it's gonna notice that you do have open VPN already installed you'll want to install it you can obviously see it can't remove the open VPN because uh, it already has been removed uh, the application and you could just run it again and install it and now it will actually automatically add it for you just like we did before and now you can open it back up and add your .ovpn files now I'm just gonna show you over in Windows what the comparable app that I was trying to go after this is the OpenVPN Connect app that they make a GUI for inside of Windows <clears throat> And I just uh, wanted something similar on Linux that you can actually run. Yeah, that way you can have all your .ovpn files organized. I don't have the URL yet, it's just the .ovpn files. But obviously that's something I can add in the future. And they do have a log. So I was going, I was going pretty, uh, trying to go after this look. Well, hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, leave a like and um, let me know what you think. Talk to you next time. Peace.